Ooh-wee, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day rocking some cold steel. Mm, kinda. So I got this in today. It's called the Black Fly. It's a thrower. It's little. So this is eight inches overall. It is tiny. This is so freaking little. I mean, for a throwing blade, especially for me, it's smaller than my SE of Vespa, right? It's smaller by an inch than my SE of Vespa. It's a little as thrower. It's um, it's only 2.4 ounces. It says it right there. It's only 2.4 ounces, really freaking light. It is spring steel, which is good. It's got a little bounce to it. It is unsharpened on both sides, just point. It's a straight up thrower. There's nothing else you're getting out of it. Um, and it's two millimeters thick, which means it's not thick. Um, my Avispa is thicker than this. I think it's three and a half millimeters on the Avispa. Um, this thing is nothing. Now, at first I thought, okay, so maybe it's like a, it's meant to be a straight thrower, but then they have this big bump right here, which would kind of screw you up and throw off your angle if you're a straight thrower, unless you have really tiny freaking little hands and you want to go just from the handle. Um, that could work. You might be able to do a straight throw from um, like this grip, which would be weird because it just doesn't feel right. I don't get it. I don't get it. This is one of those, you know, made in China cold steels that, you know, they should have just kept it there. I don't know, though, because I haven't used it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and figure it out. It does have the black coating, so it should be good. It's supposed to be like a little fun thing and who knows, maybe like a uh, like a, a small game hunter maybe if you're hitting squirrel or rabbit or something like that who knows maybe you're hitting flies or bees i don't know but we're gonna try we're gonna try and throw it into something i got a few things out here we could hit i guess we'll just go to the stump even though it's like a ground stump um we'll see i got my little path going all the way to the stump my path is five yards so it lets me know exactly how far i'm throwing all right, so I might have to not throw a full five yards, though. We're just going to see how this thing goes. I'm going to try a no-spin side grip. All right, well, it worked. I mean, it was really weird because I threw it like this, right, and I let it go, but it's so light, it, it felt like nothing was leaving my hand. So I'm going to try a spin. That felt much better, but here's the problem. It's stuck in backwards. I mean, it's still stuck in, but it's stuck in backwards. Now I'm going to try a spin throwing from the blade. And that seems to be a little bit better. So let me try that again. That seems to be pretty good. And I'm going to show you what I'm exactly doing over here. Let's see. Possibly without making you guys fall. So, that, so this is what I'm doing. I'm holding it here. And voila, it's stuck. I'll even show you. Ugh, just like that. Now, this is the first time I've ever thrown this. Oh, my God. First time. So I've never thrown this knife before. Um... And so far I've thrown it from three different ways, three different grips, and all of them have stuck. All of them. It's biting in there pretty well. I mean, that's something that's happening. And so far, it's literally been every single throw. Now that I said that, let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's still stuck in. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. It's stuck in the bottom like almost even with the um with the bark that's crazy i have no idea how many throws i've thrown already uh oh finally had a miss and i was just about to say but we've gone all those throws without a single miss um i mean it hits it hits so there we go i mean at at five yards this is probably more like four and a half where my front foot is it's going, I mean, every single time except one where I jinxed myself. This is, uh, I don't know what to think. Because I want to hate it. But you guys are watching 
throw after throw after throw just going in. I mean, and they're, they're straight. They're straight, straight. Let's see. Ooh, Jesus, that one was in there. Let's try it again. And that's full. I'm throwing a full swing, guys. Like, I'm putting it in. I'm not throwing it like a sissy, you know, a sissy little wiener. <laughs> Are you, I mean, you could possibly hear it hit. It's, um, it's probably one of the most easy and accurate throwers I've ever thrown in my life. I don't like it. I love to throw it, though. I mean, man. <laughs> it's, it's almost literally automatic. It's almost literally automatic. Look at this. I mean, that's, that's dead center. That's dead center. Let's see if we can't get a, a bigger show in here. Uh, I think, I think you guys are going to get this whole thing. I think, let's see. Yeah, you're going to see where I am. I mean, I'm throwing, I'm throwing and it's sticking. I mean, I think if we counted, maybe we could set a Guinness world record because I think the world record is like three and a half. So let's see. I have confidence enough. I'm going to try to get it really close. Maybe you guys can hear the thud. Look at that. This thing is so freaking easy to throw. This is weird. Oh, man. I really freaking tried to wind up on that one. That was my fault on the throw, but I wanted to just chuck it. Oh, did the same thing on that one. Oh, it's stuck in. It's stuck in on the underneath. All right. That's weird, man. It's just weird. I want to not like this so much because it's so small and so light, it feels fake in the hand. Captain Electro, you'd love this thing. Uh, Pistol Pete, you'd love this thing. As far as the the ease of throw, the ability to throw, and these are dirt cheap. I can't remember how much, but they are like almost nothing cheap. And think about it, this is like shin high, right? So I'm throwing down, I'm 6'3", and I'm throwing at about 18 inches. And they're just going, 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 gone. Um, that's really, really good. As far as a thrower is concerned, this thing is super freaking simple. I mean, wow. Oh, I missed when I stepped a little forward. A little forward. And that's what happens when I go back to the right place. So I'm going to end it there because I could literally and... I have no freaking doubt in my mind. I can do this all night long. I can be out here doing it all night long. Here's something I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna absolutely fail. But it'll be fun to try. There is, for my fireplace right there, I have this little thing right here, kind of, it's an old like rake and it, the rake part broke off, so I used the, the metal part that it used to go on to as like a fire log turner. I'm gonna see if I can't hit it. I'm gonna see if I can't hit it. <laughs> hey, look at that. I don't know if somebody wants to super slow-mo it and tell me what hit, but look, right here. That looks like it might've been the tip. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie, okay. One, two, three is where I stood, right? I held it like this. Now I'm not gonna be able to do it because I'm holding you guys and I just went Oh, I just missed, but I went like that and I hit it. I was trying to look in the camera at the same time um, and I hit it. So now, now that I just threw it into the grass like a moron, um, hold on, let me find this stupid thing. Yeah, it came down to this. So I got to find the... <laughs> first try all right so 
Had to break out the metal detector and some bug spray because the Skeeters were kicking my ass and so is this lost knife. I'm like, where the hell did it go? It went straight through all the grass and I could not find it. Luckily, I got my metal detector. <laughs> all right, so let's put this, put this back. Now you guys know where I keep it in case you want to break in. Easy. A little list of skateboards right there. And another one down there. Whew, gotta love my skateboards. All right, so let's get back on track here. This guy right here, at first touch, bleh, um, as far as using it as an actual thrower. See, this is where D-Bad gets made to look like an idiot. It works. It works really freaking well. Um, I so badly, as soon as I open that package... Well, and I saw this inside this package. I went, oh, that's it? Oh, I thought it was gonna be bigger. Oh, I thought it was this, I thought it was... Nope, it was just this, and guess what? It works. Um, I could literally, I could probably throw maybe 85 out of 100 or more, even better, I could do better if I concentrate on every throw without talking and concentrating on other things and trying different things. If I just mark one spot, which I did while I was making a bunch in a row, and do the same throw over and over again, I don't think it would miss. I mean, I could get a hundred out of a hundred. Um, it's it's literally, it's it's that easy of a thrower. You find your one mark with your one throw and you do the same thing over and over again, boop, 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 it's gonna get there. And I was throwing it this way. Um, I was going overhand, one long spin. I tried throwing it um, this way. First throw I did was this way. I just almost threw it right at you guys. And it stuck. First throw, it stuck. Then I threw it from the handle. First throw, it stuck. Backwards. That told me that my spot was good. My throw, my hand position was bad. So I, that's when I grabbed it by this. And then the rest, is, it's history, British history. Um, this thing is stupid. And it's stupid good. It's really freaking good. Um, this is going to be one of those throwers where I pick up all the time now and just throw. It's I'm just going to throw it. I, I was thinking even when I picked it up out of the package, I was like, first thing in my head was, oh, I could just make this a double edge and blah, 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 blah. doesn't need it. This is sharp enough as just a, like a squared tip. Right? You can see it, squared tip. Um, it's a wedge, and it works. It's a, it, it freaking works. Um, I'm unimpressed impressed. You know what I mean? I'm unimpressed with the entire package. Like, getting it was such a disappointment. Using it, there was nothing disappointing about making a hit all the time. There's nothing disappoint to disappointing. Toilet? Did I just say toilet? There's nothing disappointing about watching it leave your hand and hit your target. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, that was pretty cool. That was that was pretty darn cool. So, um, So, I don't like it but I love it at the same time. It's terrible, but it's an absolute winner. So take it, leave it, whatever you want. If you have little hands, this might be the greatest thrower you've ever owned. If you have little tiny hands, I'll tell you what, the shredder, Ezekiel, man, put this thing in that kid's hands. He might have a field day. His hand would just have an easy time finding a good grip on this guy. Um, but guys like me, guys like Scab, who's trying to get to 5,000 subs, choir boys with the Z cutlery, um, we have big hands. You know, we have big hands. And and his are big like this way and probably that way where mine are, you know, like octopus fingers. Um, so, so, I mean, with a big-handed guy with long, long fingers, it still works, man. It works really freaking good. That's it. That's it for that one. This is the Cold Steel Black Fly. <laughs> I had to double check. The Cold Steel Black Fly. And I am Donnie B all day. Until next knife.